Hello, anyone and everyone, I'm Echo, and today we're exploring Final Fantasy VII. We're here on the 62nd level of the Shinra building, and we just did this stupid sort of puzzle thing. So, turns out, uh, actually, in between this episode and the last one, I looked up the answer to the puzzle so that I could at least figure out what the hell we were supposed to do, what the game expected us to do. Where's the right thing? Ranks and extended use of Mako weaponry. So... The number is four. The fourth letter in this sentence here is K. So, K is supposed to be one of the letters in the thingy. And then over here, um, which one is it? Damn it all to hell. Uh, Big RC map. Problems with plate construction. Which one was. Wait. New York City map, reactor construction chart, illustrate guide to city planning, modern history, there you go, 16. So the 16th letter in this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, M, for the beginning of Midgar. So we know that M is a letter. So M and K, and then up here, it was this one over here. The second letter is A. So we've got M, A, and K. And then over here is 10. And the 10th letter is N, E, W, P, L, A, N, S, F, O, O, for O, for Mako. And that's how you're supposed to solve the stupid puzzle. And it's dumb because there's no god dang good reason to imply that what you're supposed to do is count the letters within the thing and it's just stupid it's stupid it's really stupid and it sucks and i hate it and it's bad <sighs> so now we're continuing on we have to go up to floor 65 because we just got uh we actually also got a new materia from him uh cover steel command Elemental adds materia elements to equipped weapon or armor. Huh. Um. Adds materia element to equipped weapon or armor. What's that exactly mean? So does that mean like if I put a fire thing on my weapon and connect it with an element paired uh, materia? It'll give fire damage to my weapon? Is that what that means? That could be pretty cool. Um... Let's try that out. Let's, uh... You know what, let's go to Barrett. He's got Sense and Lightning. Let's change Sense for Elemental. So now maybe he'll do Lightning damage on all of his regular attacks. Let's put sense down here, I suppose. Cloud has fury on him for whatever reason, but let's heal him up a little bit. Might as well heal Barrett while we're at it, too. There you go, guys. Not so bad now, is it? Locked. Alright. Hey, well, look at this. We're free to go in here. And that looks like a big old important room, so let's go around the other side. See what's over here. Another locked chest. Okay, oh shit. Well, now we can check out what that elemental thing does. Barret, you attack. Cloud, you attack. Then Tifa, you attack. 59. Okay. So, I don't... I mean, that was... Jeez, bolt. Attack, whatever. You just, do, just attack again. And kill it. There you go. Alright, I don't know what that does. I'll probably look it up afterwards. Um, if it does add lightning damage to make his attack slightly more powerful, and particularly against enemies that are weak to lightning, then that'd be really cool. But I have no idea if that's what it does, because it doesn't show anything. Received key item Midgar parts. Yeah. It didn't show any kind of lightning effect added onto his attack. Wish it did. But no, we couldn't be that lucky. Hey, nice crit there. 
Oh well, he's dead, whoever he was, I don't know. Not important. His name's probably dumb. His face is probably dumb. His family's probably dumb. Loco Weed, what is that? That is... Uses Confuse on all opponents. Cool, okay. Locked and locked. Great, love, I love that all these are locked. Now this is a diagram of Midgar. Midgar, a city born from the Earth's Mako, a model of the city. When construction of Sector 6 finishes, Sirner's plans will be complete. That must be why he took Eris. Okay. Model of Midgar, say blah blah blah. Oh. Sounds like something opened up. Hmm. Okay. Locked. So I'm guessing that opened up a uh, thingy. One of these chests. Yep, yeah, open up this one. Key item Midgar parts. Cool. So, put this in the next slot that's missing stuff. No, this one. Model of Midgar, city born from the Earth's Mako. Some parts are missing. Insert the Midgar parts. Sounds like something opened up. Sure does. Sure does, Johnny. All right. Let's get up here. Check this one. Still locked. Check the ones over here. Unlocked. Awesome. More Midgar parts. All right. Try to put this in here. Nope. Won't go in that one. This one? Nope. This one. All right. Insert the Midgar parts. Yep, sounds like something did indeed open up. Let's go check all the chests again. What a confusing puzzle. Though after that last one, I'm sure glad this isn't. Yay, more Midgar parts. Oh, and another random battle. Is it against the Hammer Dude? No, it's not. It's against more of the weird Ram cards. Whatever. Hey, Tifa, you got that limit break. Put it to good use. Don't miss, guys, please. Damn it. I was really hoping... Damn it! I was really hoping you'd hit the other one that wasn't already damaged, Tifa. Nice crit, Cloud. Alright, Tifa, can you finish it off, please? Finish it, thank you. Then Barrett can use his... superior... Uh, limit break on the next enemy that we fight. Not here. Here. Alright, there you go. Put in the parts. Something opened. Let's go check it out. First, this one. Still locked. That's probably actually gonna have the next key card in it. It's probably the last one I should ever check. Alright. Here? No. Here. Insert the Midgar parts. And I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, this one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when construction of Sector 6 finishes, Shinra's plan will be complete. This must be why he took errors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that spot doesn't actually look like, like it's missing parts. That actually looks like, uh... Yeah, keycard 66. That actually looks like it's just... Like he says, Sector 6 isn't finished yet, so the model is accurate because it shows that Sector 6 still has empty space in it, and there's no other chests. So yeah, there isn't a part for that section, but we can go up to floor 66. Awesome. Hey, what you doing, buddy? Is it just me, or does the conference room smell? There's some sort of stench coming from somewhere. Uh, I think it's just you, buddy. You. Nothing to say? Okay. Phew! You. Ooh, I'm so sick of carrying all these files, but I get to meet lots of guys. I guess that's the benefit of being a secretary. I would think the money would be more of a benefit. They're having another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about that plate incident. Hey, when you're in the bathroom, do you ever hear whispers coming from somewhere? Pfft. <sighs> 
Say you probably spent a little bit too much time in the bathroom to notice that, buddy. Come on, we're building the future of Mako. Gives me the feeling that I am alive. The feeling of moving this world just with my hands. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. You just came out of the bathroom. You got any whispering secrets to whisper to me? Nope. Oh, you're the guy who doesn't say anything. Because you're really dumb. And let me guess, this is locked. Yep. Won't even let us interact with it. Wow, how rude. What's over here? Nothing. Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Because I actually kind of remember what happens next. We go to the bathroom. And... I think when we're in here... Yeah, that's it. There's a... No, 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 you stupid thing. Flush, climb up, get out of here. Flush first, just in case. Now climb up. Let's look at the vent. Awesome. Amazing. Somehow, for some reason, the vent above the bathroom leads over to the uh, conference room. You'd think the con... Wait a minute, holy crap! The other guy did say the conference room smelled. Who the frick is the moron that that set up the vents like this? So that everybody in the bathroom can smell what can hear what's going on in the important conference room and the people in the conference room have to put up with the smell like jeez. Barrett, jeez, that's a lot of suits. Reeve, we have the damage estimates for sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the new investments, the damage is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. Holy crap. The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is, and restarting the Neo Midgar plan. Then the Ancients? The promised land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. Rate hike! Rate hike! Tra-la-la! And please include our space program in the budget! That's Palmer. President Shinra, Reeve and Scarlet will divide the extra income from the rate increase. Oh, man. Sir, if you raise the rates, the people will lose confidence. It'll be alright. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence, they'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. Ha ha ha. After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. That dirty bastard. Hojo, how's the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, Ifalna, but... But for now, the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime, or in the lifetime of the specimen, too, for that matter. I remember this dude. He's super creepy. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that could withstand our research for a long time. What about the Promised Land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. <sighs> yeah, sorry. The mother is strong and yet has her weaknesses. Okay. Super evil going on in that room. That concludes our meeting. Okay. Everyone just walks out. Uh oh, the lady hears us or something. Something stinks. Uh, she just smells all the, the waftage from the bathroom. They were talking about Eris, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. Yeah, let's follow the... higher up people of Shinra. I'm sure nobody will try to stop us from doing that. Alright. Just hop out of this bathroom, I guess. Now, where the hell did all those people go? Hey, look! It's the scientist dude. 
Hojo, huh? He's going up to floor 67. So, we should follow him. Except we don't have the card for 67, do we? Ah, but he's opening it for us. And it didn't close behind him, unlike what all the other doors have done so far. I remember him. That Hojo guy, he's in charge of the Shinra Science Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've actually ever seen him, so that's what he looks like. Okay, cool. Oh no, it's a battle. Totally wasn't expecting this. Back attack! Oh no. The worst kind of attacks. Oh, big shot. I don't wanna. I don't really wanna waste big shot after the other two have already attacked. I'm sure he'll die soon. Right? 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 Yeah. It better. And let's, uh, you know what? Let's have Cloud actually cure everybody real quick. And then Tifa will totally finish this guy off. Right? 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 God damn it, Tifa. Stop letting me down at every opportunity. Alright, Cloud. Or, I mean, Barrett, you. You should have used your your thing. That was my bad, I'm sorry. But now it's okay, it's dead. You'll use your thing next round, no matter what, to guarantee to kill them super hard so we can not have to spend that long watching the regular attacks do no damage. Um, hey, anybody in here want to spill some company secrets to me? No? Nobody feels like talking, I guess. Alright. Let's see, the specimen Hojo asked me for is... Okay, nope. He doesn't want to actually say anything useful. What's back here? Jail cells! Awesome! I love those. And there's nothing in any of them. I have a feeling we're probably going to get locked up soon. It's probably going to be a fixed point in the game where they uh, put us in jail. They seem to like doing that, actually. Uh-oh. Better hide. We don't want this scientist to see us and try and kill us or something. Is this today's specimen? Yes, we're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My precious specimen. If that guy doesn't do a nyeh laugh by the end of this game, I'm gonna have to force one into his dialogue, I swear to god. He looks like he should be nyeh hang all the time. And that is... Precious Specimen? Is it going to be used for a biological experiment? What's this? Genova. My head. Ugh. And nobody even notices until he completely passes out. Genova, Sephiroth. So they've brought it here. Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. Still alive? Where's its fucking head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. Alright. Sure. Let's just, uh, can I examine it again? Nope. Okay. Hey! Oh, no. R random battle. Woe is me for the random battles. Alright. Tifa, Cloud, you take the guy on the right. You use your big shot on the left, dude. Flying sickle, don't you dare. Don't you... F don't you f fly your sickle at me, you jerk. Yeah, I told him... Oh, he's not even dead. Dang. Dang. 
Oh, well, alright then. I, uh... Maybe you can finish him off this time. Please? Jeez, these dudes, uh... These dudes actually look like soldier. Kind of. They've got a similar outfit to Cloud. And they are obviously quite strong. So, yeah. That's what I'm just, just what I'm guessing. I don't know. I could be wrong. Teeth has got a limit break, but he's dead, so it's okay. We don't need it. Thank you for trying, Tifa. And we got a little local weed. Cool. All right. Let's use some potions. There you go. Healing everybody up. Let's check up on this guy. If we can, we cannot examine him. All right. Should I go back here? Awesome. So yeah, um, that's uh, that dude in there. I kind of have to say I like the way the game sets this up where it makes the precious specimen there look like it's going to be a boss, but it actually ends up turning out to be something else, and we'll see that when we uh, get a little further. Received poison materia. Okay. And we got a save point. Cool. Oh, wow! We got a save point! Well, let's save it then. Cool. Let's keep going. That's, uh, the jail's over to the right. Thought there was a door there for a second. My mind played tricks on me. Alright. Two hits, I assume, is good? I guess so. Summer salt. Yep. Pretty good damage. Not nearly as much as you should be doing, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Thanks for trying, Tifa. Really, I appreciate it. Okay. Nope, there's nothing over there, so let's just go on the elevator then, I guess. Just take us up here! Eris! Eris? Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Eris back. Why is he shrugging while saying that? Outsiders! Should have noticed it earlier, you. There's so many frivolous things in this world. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it, hmm? Ugh. That's right. I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now, bring in the specimen. Uh-oh. Yep. Just like they, uh... Just like they planned. Cloud, help! What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to an endangered species. Both of them are on the brink of extinction. If I don't help, all these animals will disappear. Animal? That's terrible. Eris is a human being. You're gonna pay. You're you're gonna pay. Ah, whatever his voice is. I don't care. Barrett, can't you do anything? All right, step back. Stop. Uh oh. What? What do you do? Oh, my precious specimens. Now's our chance to get Eris! Yeah, you tear his throat out. Don't let him live. Th thanks, Cloud! Uh-oh. Cloud, just walk out. What are you doing, dude? Cloud, what's wrong? The elevator is moving. This is no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. How are you alive? He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It talked? I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. We'll take care of that monster. 
Somebody take care of somewhere safe. Tifa, I'm counting on you. Barrett, Barrett, take care of her. Ah, uh, so this is cool. So basically, we send one of those two to uh, take Eris away, and that's how we free up space in our party to, for this new person. So Tifa, I'm counting on you. Better take her out of here and get her safe. What's your name? Hojo has named me Red13, a name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. We'll just leave it Red13. Select. Come on! So now we get us a nifty little boss battle. That's cool against whatever the hell this thing is. Cloud, attack, and attack that, and attack that. Sure. Alright. And it's gonna use poison on us. Fantastic. Just what I love to see. Red 13 has a shit ton of health. And probably does, yep, quite a lot of damage. Let's uh, do cross slash on the dude in the back. Since he's obviously the stronger one of all of them. Oh, and Barrett almost has his thing too. Cool. Very nice. But these little weird eyeball things are taking a long time to die as well. Like, what the hell? Thankfully, the poison is not doing much damage at all. Though, uh... I think... Cloud will probably want to heal. Yep. Just blow him apart. Oh no, the eyeball things are respawning. Shit. Alright, never mind. Let's not waste any attacks on them. Let's just take out the thing in the back. This weird pumpkin monster th looking piece of crap. Oh, but Cloud and uh, Red 13 are going to do less damage to it because it's in the back row and they're melee attacks. Darn. Oh well. Um, I know this is probably weak to some type of magic, but I don't... Yeah, let's try fire on all of them, I guess. Apparently, uh, Red 13 has his fire spell attached to an AoE uh, materia, so he can hit them all at once. So I think that's what we're going to keep doing. And, uh, oh shit, we're taking a lot of damage, too. Alright, magic fire on him. Barret, attack him. You cure, uh, cure Barret. He's the weakest. Magic fire. There you go. Oh, that was not Barrett. That was the wrong person. Oh well. Okay, first cure Barrett. Thank you. Now Barrett attack him. And you fire on him in the back. And one more cure. Actually, you know what? You can use cross slash on the boss, and somebody else can use a uh, high potion on... Okay, never mind, he's dead. I was gonna say use a high potion on Cloud, so that we won't have to wait for Cloud's turn to use the heal. Take the talisman, sweet. Hey, drop some materia. Eris, you alright? She seems alright, in many ways. In many... What's that supposed to mean, Tifa? Are you hitting on Eris now? I have a right to choose two. I don't like two-legged things. What are you? So yeah, um, in case nobody else caught it there, um, basically, so what Hojo was trying to do was not uh, have Red 13 kill her. He was trying to have the mate, which uh, Hojo thought would be totally cool because for some reason he sees Eris as an animal. Either he's one of those like super hardcore all humans are mammals and therefore basically animals and all that stuff and blah blah blah. Um, or it's because she's an ancient and uh, I, I mean okay scientifically speaking it's true that all humans are animals. That's a fact. But there's a difference between knowing that humans are animals and 
treating humans like we would treat actual animals. And that's what I mean by saying either Hojo's like that, or it's the fact that she's an ancient that made Hojo think like, sure, if they do each other, then they'll get some offspring, and the offspring will be an ancient because Red 13's an experiment that's, uh, I guess, I, I don't exactly remember. He's part of Hojo's attempt to artificially create an a, a ancient, if I remember correctly, and Eris is an actual ancient, so he thought they could bone and make an ancient baby. What are you? An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions, but first, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way. Also, Red 13 is a total badass, and he's probably going to be on our party till the end of the game. Cloud, so you did come for me. I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Yeah, and so he was, like, growling at her and stuff, and acting like he was about to jump on her to make Hojo believe that he was about to go along with it, but as Red 13 sa just said, he doesn't find two-legged people attractive. So, screw you, Eris. You're not getting screwed today. <laughs> now we've saved Eris. Ain't no need to be in this building, so let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up in two groups. Press the menu button to access the menu. Press the cancel button to change party. Press the OK button when finished. I'll see you later. We'll be waiting at the 66th, 66th floor elevator. We'll be going first. Meet at the 66th floor elevator. No reason for them to go first whatsoever, but okay, sure. Let's all go first. Let's pick up this materia first. Received enemy skill materia. Let's see what that does for my curiosity. Also, we'll check out what things he has. He's got fire magic and all paired with it. And down here, he has the sense command. And uh, what's poison? Obviously, is poison magic. Enemy skill equips enemy skill command. Okay. I don't remember what this does, but I think it's super useful, but we want to wait to put it on a different person, maybe. I'm not sure. Might as well put it on him, for the hell of it. Doesn't really matter. And, uh, Barret, you don't need the sense command anymore, because other dude has the sense command, so you can get restore, so that we can use, uh, twice as much healing magic, if we want to. So, yeah. And let's use some potions. Let's use one high potion. That'll heal 500? Oh, that's overkill, so never mind. Let's use a few regular potions to heal you up. And you too. Cool. Alright. And then we're going to go and save the game. We'll be done for this episode. So I will... Oh, actually. Wait a minute. Um, Anybody down there? Anything over here? Oh, hey. There's items up here. Receive potion. Receive potion. Cool. And that... Hmm, that's locked. No, please don't kill me. I only did what Hojo told me to do. To prove it to you, here. This is the keycard to the 68th floor. Would I be doing this if I was the enemy? Receive the keycard. Keycard 68. Okay. I mean, you might... You might be trying to trick us. Or something. What's, uh... Is that door that he just went through open now? Yeah, it is. Cool. Alright. Receive potion. Receive potion. Where does this lead? So... Okay, we're on 68. Okay, so all he did was just give us the key cards so that we could get out of here. Alright. Cool. Great, now we're in another battle, so I can't even end the episode yet. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure you guys don't mind. But anyway... Yeah, Red 13 even does more damage than Cloud. That's, uh, impressive. Very impressive. And very... Uh, appreciated. Appreciated. Or whatever. Big Shot, use it on the other one, because he's not damaged as much. Big Shot will do lots of damage. We want to maximize the damage Big Shot does. Like that. Okay, yep, you can use your bolts all you want. Ain't gonna stop me. You know what? In fact... In fact... Uh, shit. No, don't use your limit yet. Because I want Cloud to cure everybody, and your limit will probably kill this guy. And you know what? You just save it. 
We'll save his limit break for the next episode because it's probably really cool looking or something. Oh, you know what? You can use magic. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we can't even go up to 69, so there's no reason to be over here, really. And the save point was back down at the bottom floor, so let's just go down there. I uh, want to end the episode after we get down there, because in case of a cutscene happening... Nope, no cutscene. Okay, cool. So we're going to end it here. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, jeez. Alright, fine. You do that. You sled fang against him. And you do that. Good job. Sled fang, one hit kill. Yeah. Nope, but damn close. 249. That's some good damage. Sleep L. Oh, that's a spell. It just puts him to sleep. Okay. Cool. Fine. Sure. No, let's finish off the guy on the left. Because he's actually closer to death because of the limit break. Good job. Okay. Cool. And... Jeez, Parrot, why'd you have to go and fall asleep? Oy vey. I don't remember how to, uh... I think there's a... If I'm not incorrect, I think there's a way to wake up allies that are asleep without having to use an item. But the item's, you know, guaranteed to always work. And I think the, uh... The other way is not to guarantee. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. But that's irrelevant, because now the battle's over, and this episode's over. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye